Hi everyone, it's Barb here and I, I decided to jump back on because I wanted to share how the unstuck method can help us get unstuck from the small things. So you've probably heard that quote a million times, don't sweat the small stuff. Well, sometimes it's easier said than done. And so I want to sh share how I can get my, myself unstuck pretty quickly, especially when it comes to the small stuff. So I'm going to show you how I can get stuck brushing my teeth. <laughs> so see this Crest, this Crest Pro Health, it has a little pink, pink part on it and it's for sensitive enamel. And um, this toothpaste I use because I have some receding gums and so it exposes the nerves and it can be really painful when I eat, when I brush my teeth, um, temperature wise. So it can get really painful um, with certain foods and it's not just when I'm eating, it'll, it'll last. So years and years and years ago, a dentist said to use Sensodyne, so I did. And I got pretty decent relief. Well, recently I have a new doctor, um, dentist, Dr. Lilly here in Bridgeport. I'm gonna give him a shout out as well as his hygienist. And they highly recommend that I use this toothpaste. They said there's, it's a different composition. It actually cleans the teeth better and I can attest to that too. The old one felt like there was a little bit more tartar. But so when, but <laughs> when I, when I use the toothpaste tube and it gets to be about this flat, you know how you roll it up so that you it'll stay like this and you can squeeze the toothpaste out easily. So I do that. And this is what happens when I do that. So by the time I go to use it again, it's unraveled, so I have to do it again. And that annoys me. It's like, oh, I have to do this again. So I roll it back up and I don't know if you can see this, but this stuff is, this is like an adhesive. This is the strangest toothpaste I've ever seen. And it, if it gets on you and you don't realize it, it will cling to your clothes. I have it in carpets. It's on my door. It's like plaster on my door. I'm like, what is this stuff? And when I get it to this point and I squeeze it out, if I don't get my toothbrush on it right away, it goes away again. And I'm like, Urgh. so you can see I get worked up. I'm sweating the small things. I get worked up over this toothpaste. So I'm gonna show you what the stuck method can do. So you can see even through this that I'm frustrated and already I feel my muscles, muscle tension going up. So I'm gonna take a stop. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna observe just by explaining that, how that stress landed in my body. My muscle tension is higher, my heart rate is higher. So I just put myself in sympathetic nervous system because my toothpaste does this. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed. I, I, I'm observing how the stress is landing in my body and I'm gonna proceed with the next step. So the T, stuck, S is stop, T is tell. The tell is a real important step because this builds our awareness. We've been working on that on, month, on Mindful Mondays. So the tell is telling the, the thoughts or the emotions of what this is experiencing. So my emotions are frustration, I'm annoyed, I'm irritated. So basically I'm mad at my toothpaste. Okay. And my thoughts are, this always happens. I get to this much, see how it unravels, did it again, it always happens, and now it gets even stickier. And I want to tell you that if my husband uses this toothpaste, I get him new toothpaste immediately because it's everywhere if he uses it. So it always happens, that's a thought. You know, I should just go back to my old toothpaste. I've thought of that numerous times. This would just be easier. Sometimes I just throw this away because it's so annoying, right? So now that I've identified my emotions and my thoughts, I'm going to go to the next step. And before I do, the tell. The tell is where we discover where we're stuck. I'm stuck on frustration because of these thoughts. 
So I'm going to go to the uncover. So the uncover is where we investigate our thoughts for the truth. Because if they're not entirely true and they cause irritation and frustration and anger, right? If, if they're not entirely true, then I don't want to cling to them because I don't want to continue to sweat the small stuff. So I ask myself, well, how true is it that it always gets all over the place once the tube looks like this? Well, it's not, that's not entirely true. It's really not true. Now, if Brian, if my husband uses it, it, it could be more true than when I use it because I'm more mindful now. I'm, I'm aware of it, right? I'm a little more cautious playing with it. So it's not always true that it happens. And maybe I should get another toothpaste. Well, that could be true. I could do that. But this one really is pretty effective. And if I should, I already would have. So why hang up on I should? If I should... I would have done it already if I should do it, right? And here we go again, right? So so is it entirely true that when it gets like this, it's not even worth it and I'm just going to get frustrated? Well, no, it's not always true. So if it's not always true, I also want to identify what the circumstance is. And this is really important because the circumstance is factual and the story is our thoughts. So the circumstance is I use Crest Pro Health. That's a fact, see, this is what I use. I see it, it's true, you see it, it's true. Now, every thought I put on top of my Crest Pro Health is my story. So you might be looking at me saying, why are you even stressed about that, right? That's because that's what my mind does. That's, what, that's my story. And my story charged this in a way that irritated me, okay? So if it's not entirely true, we're going to move on to consider, the C part. The considerations are where we get unstuck. So if I'm not going to use my toothpaste and immediately say, oh, here we go again, we should just throw this out. If I'm not going to think that every time I use this, what am I going to think? Because if I don't replace that thought, that's what I'm going to think. So I can consider. Okay, I can consider that I'm really grateful to have a dentist and a hygienist who took the time to give me something that really helps my dental care, right? I can consider that I like eating and just living without pain in my mouth. I really do like that. That's really awesome. I can consider being more patient. I can consider not stressing the small stuff. And in this consideration step, you want to every consideration you can think of. I can consider that my thoughts aren't helping me, right? You want to stretch the mind's capacity to see a different light. Because the more we do that, the more the brain will go where we direct it. So we come up with so many considerations and then we want to choose one because all of the considerations that we come up with doesn't mean the mind is going to embrace. So when I think of the considerations that I just shared, the one that really brings me back into a calm state is, you know, I'm really grateful that I don't have pain in my mouth. And it's really worth stay, staying with this toothpaste because it's the one that works the best for me. So I'm gonna consider that I don't like pain. And so I feel better using this, even when it looks like this and it does what I just described. So you can see where I went from really irritation and I brought it down a notch into a more calm state. And that helps me not sweat the small stuff because the small stuff adds up. Something happens at work, it's small. Just because we're so busy and we're so saturated that we get annoyed. Now, if you catch me when I'm annoyed, when I was stuck with my toothpaste, if I was stuck and you asked me a question, I might bark at you, right? I might, I might, respond with irritation because I'm stuck feeling annoyed. And so I might even share that with you, okay? So the stuck, stop, tell. Tell your thoughts and emotions, your beliefs. Um, uncover, investigate them for the truth and figure out the circumstance. What is the truth, what is the fact, and what is your story? And then once you realize that it's not entirely true, and let me, let me say one thing, a caution. The you is really, really hard sometimes for people to accept that it's not true. The toothpaste is an easy unstuck, right? It's toothpaste. 
when we are stuck on something from our past that has been with us for decades, it's not so easy to convince ourselves that our thoughts and our beliefs are not true. As a matter of fact, we can, we can stay there a long time and that's okay because we have to, that's the mind protecting you. No, it's true. I, I know it's true. I can prove it 100% that it's true. Okay, that's what the mind says. And when the mind is so, is clings to that, that belief so much, and if it's not entirely true, we're going to stay stuck a lot longer, right? So I just wanted to point out that, that that step is a crucial one. The consideration step is where we get unstuck. And finally, we come to K, which is kindness. And this is where we hold ourselves in self-compassion. Because sometimes when we're stuck and we get unstuck, we can actually get stuck again. Like sharing this with you, like I can get stuck on embarrassment that I was stuck about my toothpaste, right? But I can laugh at it now when, when I'm in the moment, I'm like ready to throw it against the wall, right? So you can see how the energy shifts. So, but we want to hold ourselves in compassion. You know, it's okay. I was stuck feeling frustration. That doesn't mean I'm frustrated. I was stuck feeling it. There's a difference. Do you hear that difference? I am frustrated. That means that I'm just a frustrated person all the time and that's not true. So we want to tell the mind, I was stuck feeling frustrated and you know what? That's okay. I'm human. I like myself even though I was angry with my toothpaste. Right? We, we bring it down a notch and not be so critical of ourselves. I was stuck before, I'll get stuck again, and I'm going to be able to get myself unstuck. It's okay. It's okay. So I just wanted to demonstrate how I got stuck on my toothpaste and how I got unstuck. And so that's the beauty of this method. And because I was sharing it with you, it took a lot longer. When I do it, once I learn the steps, I can do it like this and get unstuck and be on my way. And so I'm not sweating the small stuff because the small stuff adds up and it adds to the stress in our life. So I hope that was helpful for you. I'll be, I'll be sharing more stuck and unstuck stories with you as we progress. Tomorrow is Take a Stop Tuesday, so I'll be guiding us through another stop meditation and explaining why it's so crucial that we practice them every day. And until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.